Hey Valparaiso, I'm Storm Shield meteorologist Rachel Dunzing here with a quick look at your weather for this Thursday. And unfortunately, because of a cold front that moved through the area early this morning, we have yet more cold temperatures returning to the area. I know it just seems like we cannot get away from this cold for this winter. But the good news for us VU students is that spring break starts tomorrow. But unfortunately, if you are doing any traveling right away on Friday or even on Saturday, we are going to have a little bit of a snow event and that could cause some travel hazards as well. But a little bit more good news, 21 days until the official start of the spring season. And once again, a little bit more of an unfortunately with that, it seems like it is going to start off feeling a little bit below normal in the way of temperatures. And the reason we are so cold today is because this cold front moved through our area, as I mentioned before, early this morning, late last night. And because of this high pressure system, you can't really see it behind the banner, but it's sitting off to our north, is bringing around a lot of northerly winds, and that is why we are so cold. And we are going to be continuing to remain so warm today. But what we are going to have to watch is this low pressure system out to our west. That is going to be our big weather maker for the snow. But this high pressure system is going to move through our area um, today and into tomorrow as well. And that is actually going to bring us a chance for some sunny skies. I know with on Facebook, we've definitely been talking about we're sounding a little bit like a broken record with a lot of sunny skies, but cold temperatures. That is going to be the case once again, especially for today and a little bit into Friday as well. So that's going to be that big factor. But then here comes this low pressure system. It is going to move past our area and bring in some more cold temperatures especially by the time we head to Saturday and even to Sunday as well. But it's also going to bring in a lot of snow into the area. So definitely be aware of that if you're traveling on Saturday, maybe for spring break or just doing any sort of weekend traveling. You, there will be snow in the area, so we, you will have to pay attention to that. And then that is going to continue to move off to the west and it's going to leave us with a lot more cold air in our area once again. And now for our RPM forecast model for radar, you see there's a lot of clear skies in the area uh, by this morning. And that's what I mentioned before is because of that high pressure system. A little bit of a good news with that is going to keep our skies clear. And then you can see it slowly move past our area and bring in a few more clouds as it moves past. And then here comes the snow pushing into our area late Friday night. And that is going to persist as we head into Saturday as well. As I keep saying, that could cause some travel hazards. It's looking like this entire system for this weekend could bring anywhere between seven to nine inches of accumulating snow. I mentioned today though, eight degrees for that high temperature. It's a very, very cold condition outside and the wind chill will be around negative 15 degrees because the wind's coming out of the northwest at 15 to 20 miles per hour. The good news though is there will be a lot of sun, but don't let it fool you. You are definitely going to need to bundle up as you head outside today with that high temperature in the single digits. And then as we head into tonight, it is not going to be much better than that, dropping to seven degrees below zero. Once again, a very cold night. That wind chill very close to that negative 20 degree mark. So very cold once again. The good news though, the northwest winds at five miles per hour will begin to shift to the south as that high pressure system moves out of our area. And that is going to continue to warm us up as we head into tomorrow, that high temperature of 22 degrees. Those southeast winds are going to continue to remain around and that is going to warm us up throughout most of the day. Fortunately, there goes that sun. We're going to be experiencing a lot of mostly cloudy conditions by the time we head into your Friday. Friday. And your five day forecast shows this gradual cooling trend, but then you see Saturday is where that snow begins. I mentioned before, a little bit on Friday night as well. 21 degrees only on Saturday, and then dropping down to 17 degrees on Sunday. Not much better on Monday, only 18 degrees, but look at that. On Tuesday, you can really see that Arctic air has settled back into our area. 13 degrees. A few of those snow flurries could be lingering around, but dropping down to those single digit low temperatures Tuesday, getting very close to zero degrees for that overnight low. So whether you live in the Northwest Indiana area or you are staying around the area, if you're a VU student for spring break, definitely bundle up. It's not going to feel much like a spring break, but definitely nice to have two weeks off, even if it is a little bit cold. That's it for me, Valparaiso. I'm Storm Shield Meteorologist Rachel Dunzing. Have a great day.